What's up fishies? I'm Mermaid Amy and I am going to teach you all about real mermaids. Mermaids are real by the way. So let's dive in. What's it like to be a mermaid? It's pretty fantastic. One of my favorite things is to play hide and seek with some of my sea creature friends. But it's really kind of not fair if you're playing with an octopus because they can camouflage themselves to blend into their surroundings. So it's so hard to find them. Can you see my octopus friend in the video? Just you wait. Surprise! And there he goes. Super tricky, right? Seahorses also have that ability, so they are very hard to find as well. I love my sea turtle friends. 60 million years ago, sea turtles were the size of small cars. And today, there can still be found some really big ones. Check out these sea turtles. Talk about a mobile home. Ooh, it's a crab. Uh, crabs kind of freak me out. They are related to spiders after all. Wow, that's a lot of crabs. Ooh, look at their spidery legs. <laughs> this guy's like, ooh, ooh, me first, me first. Let me in, brother. The sea is so diverse with different types of creatures in it, and mermaids are no different. There's different types of mermaids, and some mermaids are born from mermaids' purses. Some sharks are also born this way. Look at this footage of the beautiful little mermaid purse with that little shark in there. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. So when the mermaid is ready to be born, she comes out of her mermaid purse and swims away. Other mermaids are born from their mothers, more like humans and dolphins and some types of sharks. Here is a lemon shark giving birth. There's a little yolk sac that the baby has lived off of inside the mother, and there's the baby. Oftentimes, sharks just leave their babies to fend for themselves after they're born. Dolphins, on the other hand, have a more pod mentality like mermaids do. Oh, look at the cute little guy. He loves his mama. He'll travel with his family. Dolphins are very social creatures. Mmm. All this talking is making me hungry. Does anybody have any seaweed or kelp? Sure, it's a little slimy, but if you're gonna be a mermaid, you gotta get used to slimy things because lots of your friends are slimy. Squid, stingrays, jellyfish, they can all be a little slimy sometimes, but it doesn't bother you if you're a mermaid. Just remember, don't shake hands with a jellyfish. They'll stink. Ow, 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 ow. Mermaids, like other ocean fish, absorb seawater through their skin and then they filter out the salt through their bodies. When I'm in fresh water, I can't absorb the water, so I need to take a drink. I do not drink pool water, ew! No, don't drink pool water. Yuck. I go to school like you, but I don't take a school bus. I take a school of fish and we swim to school together. Things like paper and pens don't work the same underwater. So we use things like octopus ink. Just don't get too much. When mermaids and other fish talk, when we communicate with each other, we do so with vibrations and clicks. Like a dolphin, and you've heard a dolphin before. <laughs> Did you know that seahorses growl when you pick them up? It's too small of a sound for your human ears to hear, but you can see the vibrations. Mermaids love to sing. They love to sing. But singing underwater is different than singing above the waves. That 
that's why we mermaids love to come to the surface to sing. See, much better on the surface. I especially love to come to the surface at night. The lights in your sky are so magical. I like to think that when one of your stars falls from the sky and lands in the ocean, it becomes a starfish. The deeper you get into the ocean, the less sunlight can get in. And so the fish that live deep, deep in the ocean have to make their own light. This is called bioluminescence and it's amazing. There's all sorts of animals that make their own light. From corals to seahorses. I use one of those fish as my nightlight. Even some sharks have bioluminescence and sea turtles. And the red coloration is especially rare. Mermaids have to be careful if we come to the surface too much because we didn't know about sunblock. That is a magical invention because we can get sunburned very easily. Fish can get sunburned as well. The way that we avoid sunburn is we go deeper into the ocean. If you go deep enough, then the rays of sun can't burn you. So if I stay at the surface for a while, I need some sunblock. And so do you. Use the magical invention, sunblock. So what do you think? Do you want to be merfolk? Can you wiggle your body like a sea snake or a dolphin? Can you splash around? Do you like to play? Wow, you're a great merfolk in training. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'd love to read your comments. Until next time, fishies, just keep swimming. Don't drink pool water. Mermaid Amy, out.